What's going on guys, it's Dan Craft TV here and I'm just gonna be doing a quick tutorial on how to make the cluster bomb, which is a Minecraft TNT bomb, which is actually definitely the most destructive TNT bomb I've ever seen in Minecraft. So the way you make it, um, I'll just start over. Um, I'll actually game mode too. So the way you make it is you need one redstone comparator or comparator, depending on how you want to say it, and then three redstone that create a circuit to it. And you should turn it on, and you place down a lever sideways to it, and pull it, and it should start pulsing. It doesn't matter how you place the lever, but it is important that if, as you face the back of your com comparator, that the one to the right, that you break whatever block it is to the right of it, just because the dispenser will only tick at that block. It will not tick at any other the other blocks will tick once and it won't and that's about it so what you have to do is take your 25 TNT and put it in your dispenser and if you back up and it should make a pretty nice little hole so you can see there's a pretty nice crater there um, if my chunks would load in so it actually does a ton of damage. You could troll people to your heart's content with this. Um, so there is a really ramped up version of this that you can do. Um, which is just where you kind of branch it off. So What you'll need for that is you'll need your redstone. You'll need everything that you needed before. Um, and I'll be showing you the explosion for this and you will need a lot of a lot more tnt for it am i missing anything i do not believe so so you're just going to build your basic cluster bomb turn it on turn on your comparator it should start flickering as last time oh i'm just going to do this in creative because i feel like breaking all the blocks <clears throat> So, actually, I'll do one wider just to make an even bigger explosion. Okay. Now, what you need to do is place all your dispensers down. And make sure they're all facing up, upwards. And it just kind of branches off, and you're going to fill all these with TNT. And what you can do with that is, like, if you... All it takes is less than... 30, so you can put like 25 and I just split my stacks of 64 and a half. Um, so I will be grabbing. Okay. So I grabbed a ton of TNT. So, I there. so that's already two done. And you can just shift click every other one. And It doesn't really make a difference if you miss one because it's still going to be extremely, extremely explosive. Ha ha ha. My puns are amazing. So I'm going to be taking half a stack of each of these, as I already said, <laughs> and I'm going to shift click that in. It looks like I'm going to need more TNT. I guess the more the better. So I'm just going to grab one redstone. Even though it's gonna take a lot, but I'm a creative, so it doesn't matter. So. And we're just gonna skip 32 in that one, and I guess. Oh no, I just only need even more TNT. Terrific. I think that should be all. So I'm just gonna hold shift this entire time. Redstone everywhere. There. <laughs> and this is gonna I guarantee be a giant explosion. I kind of wanted to do this in a village just to for fun because it's a lot cooler in a village. It takes out like all the houses in the area. And I'm just gonna pull the lever and yeah, it's pretty insane. The amount of damage this does.
Well, that is a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of area. I can't even explain how much damage it does, but you would not want one of these built in your house, and they're actually fairly compact for the amount of damage they do. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. This is Daniel Craft TV signing off.